After a long court battle, AT&T has won a decisive victory in court, clearing the way for their $85 billion takeover of Time Warner, which also includes Warner Brothers Studios. From Variety, the ruling has tremendous implications for future media mergers, as public interest groups and Wall Street analysts predict that it will clear the way for greater consolidation and combinations between content and distribution. Comcast, for instance, is weighing a rival bid for many of the assets of 21st Century Fox, hoping to usurp the Walt Disney Company's agreement to purchase the media properties. The AT&T acquisition of Time Warner is now clear to be completed by June 20th. This ruling is huge on several levels. You know, first of all, AT&T now gets to complete the merger of Warner Brothers. That's great, or Time Warner, I should say, the parent company. So that's great. And there's a lot of things just by itself to talk about there. But the implications on what this could mean to the wider landscape are huge. Right in front of us is this whole stuff going on with Fox and Disney and Comcast. You know, one of the arguments that was made against Comcast and said one of the things that would stand in Comcast's way was the fear of the government stepping in and thinking there'd be a lot of antitrust stuff because of all the properties that Comcast already owns. That gave Walt Disney a clear head start. But now that the court has pretty decisively said and favored AT&T in this merger, like the report said, it kind of opens up the playing field a little bit and takes away some of those fears. This, I think, will embolden Comcast to really go in strong with a bid, knowing now that one of the hurdles in their way has been cleared out. Now, the other thing that this sort of opens up is the fact that whoever ends up winning this bidding war between Disney and Comcast to get Fox, it seems to suggest that it's going to be an easier time getting it cleared by the government officiating boards, right? Like now that AT&T won their case, it should make things a little bit, not completely clear, but a little bit easier for either Comcast or Disney to get this deal finalized. The drama is still just starting though. Fox is going to have a shareholders vote in the upcoming months, so we'll see which way they go. So who's going to end up owning the Fox stuff, Disney or Comcast? The picture's still unclear.